At night, the atmosphere in Kolkata is a lot darker than it is during the daytime. The street children, most of whom are found along city stations, reveal shocking scenes of half-asleep children getting high on glue, which removes the feeling of hunger and cold. Sadly, the drug becomes a necessary anesthetic for the environment. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in the street. But I think I'm going to have a train accident. 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 Chuchu became a street child at the age of three. After his parents' death, he found himself alone and trapped in a moving train that took him to Harrow Station. No, I don't know. He became one among an estimated 250,000 street children roaming in Kolkata. India is home to almost one-sixth of the world's population. In fact, it's projected to surpass China as the world's most populous country by 2027. And as the fastest growing major economy in the world, the country is heading towards the status of financial superpower. But although India shows significant progress, huge populations are still falling farther and farther behind. Today, 380 million people in India are still live in extreme poverty, and the most prominent victims are the children. Kolkata's railway stations, Hara and Zelda, are the largest and most chaotic in the entire India, serving the entire eastern half of the country. But among half a million passengers pouring off trains every day are Hara's only permanent residents, the platform children. They scramble on board each passenger train to collect recyclables and valuable items left behind. Despite us being strangers, one of the Hara girls showed us around. As long as she remembers, Pinky Shaw has shaped her life around the station. Pinky introduced us to her group of friends, one of the many gangs of kids around the station. United by the same fate, a brotherhood arises between the children. Although the parents are out of sight, the kids still have daily responsibilities. The children create their own micro-economy by collecting bottles, which you would think would be viewed as a valued service, though this is not often the case. The gangs here work as recycling cooperatives, delivering their daily scraps to the nearby collecting centers, 
earning just enough to keep them and their fellow gang members fed. One of the things we started to notice about Pinky, now in her early 20s, was that she was already a mother of three. At the age of 15, she gave birth to her first child, and soon two more followed. We left Hara for a second, just to find a quieter and less crowded place, to listen to what Pinky expects from the future. Her youngest son were already sent to an orphanage, where she rarely has any contact with him. As we got to know these children, it was clear that the street is building a hard shell of them. But there is some vulnerability hiding. One of the boys, a riff, got run over by a car and got a head injury. In the middle of this accident, a window opens, where you can see that these tough little guys are nothing but vulnerable children. While many of the Hara kids are orphans, most of them are still in touch with their families, living in the nearby slums. Here in a slum built on a highway underpass housing 500 families, the Danish organization called Little Big Help has set up several projects for the street children. Namaste. So basically she, along with her husband, are staying here and they have seven children. Out of these seven children, only three children are going to school. This area is so much alcohol uh, prone area. Even in uh, almost every house, the male members are taking alcohol. And whatever money they are earned, the biggest part of that money they are spending on alcoholism. And after taking alcohol, they are coming back to their uh, home. And uh, every time there is domestic violence. They beat their wives as well as they beat the children also. Most of the children who are, especially the girl children, who are staying on the street, they, they, are, they are facing so much big challenges regarding their protection because every day they are experiencing so much abuses, like physical abuses, emotional abuses, as well as sexual abuses, which they will not spoke out. But that is the hidden truth of this area. Because of all these problems, we have started this community center. 45 children are coming on day-to-day -day basis. The main objective is we are conducting here school preparation course so that the dropped out and left out children can be mainstreamed in government school. I am optimistic for the future of this slum. Maybe one day the extreme poverty will gone from India. Maybe it will take 100 years, but still we hope for the positive changes. After living 10 years at Howard Station, Chuchu was picked up by Little Big Help. They gave him a place in the boys' home. That was the start of a life with hope, far from poverty, homelessness, and distress. Today, Chuchu reflects on his former life this my bit. by writing poetry. I am a street child, wall full of darkness. My life is spent at a corner of the dark footpath. Give me an education. Give me an enlightenment, give me happiness, give me happiness, give me happiness.
আমি যখন হাওড়া স্টেশন ছিলাম সেখানে অনেক অনেক কিছুই খারাপ হতো সেটা খারাপ স্টোরি মানে আমার যেটা খারাপ ঘটেছিল সব থেকে যেটা আমি মানে একদম বাধ্য ছিলাম না যে কাজে সেটা হচ্ছে আমার নেশার কাজে যে আমাকে নেশা ওখানে শেখানো হয়েছিল আমি নেশা আমি করতে শিখিনি না আমাকে শিখেছে তবে একটাই ছেলে আমি যাকে দাদা মানে মনে করতাম সেই আমাকে নেশা শিখেছিল একবার তারপর থেকে আমি নেশা গ্রস্ত হয়ে পড়েছি নেশা করে থাকতাম খাবার যখন খুব খিদে পেত তখন আমি নেশা করতাম সেই খিদেটা মিটে যেত In the last 70 years, India's population has grown with almost 1 billion people. And today Kolkata is India's third largest city and among the world's most polluted ones. Because mass urbanization makes all plans to improve a city's institutions, medical assistance facilities and social welfare initiatives ineffective and the badly polluted air leads to countless airborne diseases and skin infections. All this makes the way to finally eradicate extreme poverty in Kolkata seem almost impossible. But still according to the government's official plan it will be done by 2050. Amar dadar sathe jokhon ami jokhon ekshathe jetam thik ache ebar jokhon train ashar shomoy hoye gele jokhon train jeto tokhon mane speed e jokhon jeto tokhon amra doure jetam jate amar nagal ta pai to oi bhetore tokhon duklam dokar por botol botol kuriye nilam bosta ebong lab mere tarpor ami uthe bollam তো এটা আমার কাছে একটা মানে বিশেষ অ্যাডভেঞ্চার টাইপ ছিল এটাই মজার আমার কাছে এরকম আমি যে যখন কোনো রোড দিয়ে বা এরকম রাস্তা দিয়ে যখন হেঁটে যাই বা ফুটপাথ দিয়ে যখন যাই তখন দেখতে পাই যে অনেক ওরকম যারা আমার মতো আমি যখন আগে ছিলাম এরকম যে আমার মতোই করেই ওরা মানে রাস্তা শুয়ে আছে বা বসে আছে দেখে আমার পাগল টাগল মনে হয় কিন্তু ওইভাবে আমরা যদি মনে করি সেটা বললে হয় না কিন্তু তাদেরও হয়তো সেই জায়গাটা হয়তো সেই সুযোগটা পাইনি বা বা হয়তো নেওয়ার চেষ্টা করিনি কিন্তু আমার মনে অনুভূতি হয় যে ওরকম যদি আমার মতো সুযোগ পেতো যে আজ যদি এরকম জায়গা হতো তাহলে আমি মানে আমি ভাবতাম যে তারা লাভবান হতো তারা নিজেকে লাখি বলে মনে করতো